Welcome to the Flix Studio Recaps channel. Today, I'll be discussing an exciting romantic film from South Africa called Fatal Seduction that was released in 2023. Before we start, I kindly request that you leave a comment and subscribe to the video as it will help my channel grow. Thank you. The movie begins with Nandi, a law professor, starting to doubt her husband, Leonard, when she discovers his text messages with his assistant, Amira. Their marriage begins to crumble after Nandi experiences a miscarriage, and Leonard blames her for the loss of their child. It takes Nandi a year to recover from the trauma. Her best friend, Brenda, advises her to leave Leonard, but Nandi is uncertain. Things take a turn for the worse when Brenda and Nandi spend a weekend together. While taking a swim in the pool, Nandi and Brenda notice an attractive young man. Brenda encourages Nandi to let loose, but it all becomes overwhelming for Nandi. That evening, the two friends attend a party, and Nandi encounters the same guy she saw near their villa earlier. When a stranger harasses Nandi, the guy steps in and helps her escape the situation. Nandi is grateful to him and also impressed by his interest in law. Brenda, Nandi, and Jacob end up partying together, and Nandi can't ignore the chemistry between her and Jacob. She goes back to the villa with Jacob, and although she didn't plan to spend the night with him, she succumbs to temptation. The next morning, Nandi wakes up feeling guilty. She blames Brenda for pushing her to let loose, but deep down, she knows she is responsible for her own life. Confused and ashamed, Nandi leaves the villa that morning. Although Nandi feels guilty about her encounter with a young stranger, she can't get Jacob out of her mind. The next day in class, she is shocked to see Jacob among her students. Nandi had no idea he was her student, which further complicates their situation. After class, Nandi asks Jacob to treat her like any other professor and forget about their time together. When Nandi faces car trouble, Jacob comes to her rescue. Nandi tries to maintain a professional relationship with him, but she struggles to control her feelings. Meanwhile, Brenda's housekeeper discovers her lifeless body in the bathtub. The police arrive and determine that Brenda's body shows no signs of violence except for a slit on her wrist, suggesting it was self-inflicted. The scene also includes a broken vase, Jacob's belt, and evidence from Nandi and Jacob's time together. Nandi sends a text to Brenda, and the police read her message, revealing that the stranger she met the previous night was her student. With Brenda's death, Nandi's secret is at risk of being exposed, especially considering the obvious evidence pointing to her affair. In the beginning of the second episode, Nandi spots Jacob in her classroom, apparently enrolled as her student for the current semester. He tries to approach her after class to talk, but she tells him she doesn't want to see him again. Authorities start investigating Brenda's case, while Nandi remains unaware of her friend's passing. The detective in charge reads Nandi's message to Brenda about Jacob being her student. The discovery of Brenda's body shocks Leonard's friend, police officer Vuyo, and their previous romantic connection is revealed. When Nandi returns home, Leonard informs her that Brenda has committed suicide. The police then contact them for questioning, and when asked if anyone else was present, Nandi lies and says it was only the two of them. Nandi finds another message from Amira and a receipt revealing a purchase made by Leonard. Following that, she and Jacob meet again and have sex at his home. In the meantime, Vuyo informs Leonard about everything that transpired and promises to uncover the identity of the other person in the house. The narrative then shifts to Laura and Zinal, during which Zinal receives a text message from an anonymous person named Pope Boy. As they start conversing, the focus switches to Vuyo, and Nandi confesses to him that she, not Brenda, slept with someone that night when questioned about the man. As tension rises and the killer remains unknown, Jacob sits in a hidden place with a few photos in his cabinets, taking the episode in an unexpected direction. 
The pictures reveal Nandi and her child, and the episode concludes here. If you enjoyed this movie, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more romantic and crime films.